Hello, uh, today Dr. Pankaj Pithari is going to explain us the pl coal plasma technology. He is explaining funda its fundamental principles, uh, its uh, components and operations and its applications. Dr. Pankaj has extensive experience in post harvest and food processing. Uh, we are lucky to him today. Welcome Dr. Pankaj. Uh, good morning all. So today we are talking about the coal plasma technology which using for the food quality and food safety and this is considered as a non-thermal technology because it's working at the low temperature and this equipment is the first kind of equipment we are using in Oman for the food safety and food quality. Now in the coal plasma the first questions come here what is plasma? Plasma we consider as the state of matter when we apply the energy uh, it changes the material changes its phases. For example, when applied the energy to solid, it changes to liquid, from liquid to gases. Further, we applied the energy, electrical energy, it converts to the ionized gas. Ionized gas we consider as the plasma. Now, the plasma gas which comprise several atomic molecules, ionic and radical spaces, existence of electrons with positive and negative ions, free radicals, free atoms, which considered as a part of plasma will here to preserving the food product by deactivating microbial and chemical reactions and this product is helping here to protect the product and extend the shelf life. The plasma we divide into two types of plasma one is a thermal plasma which working at high temperature another is non-thermal or cold plasma which working at low temperature. Cold plasma is the partial ionization process producing free radical charged particles ions, uh, ions and protons and electrons. The charged particles when is reacting with the surface of the product deactivating, deactivating the surface uh, of the food product and making safer and for the long shelf life. Alternative for the food preservation uh, for, from the moving from the thermal technology to the non-thermal technology. Uh, we have the coal plasma unit, we are using that type of unit for the food processing and food preservation. So in the coal plasma unit, what we have, we working uh, under the vacuum. So we have the vacuum chamber where we are keeping our sample for the, uh, for the plasma, applying plasma on the product. Now I am turning the equipment and showing the operation. So once we start the equipment to working as a vacuum, we need to start with the pump to create the vacuum. So now in the display, we can see the pressure here. We need 0.4 millibar pressure to create the vacuum. And then we can apply the plasma on the product. I need to lock the chamber. So what I am doing now, I am locking the chamber now, placing it and by the vacuum, it may be get locked. For the operation, we are using fresh uh, dead sample for the treatment. So we need to keep our sample in the chamber. I can keep here. And then I close the system, but now it needs to create vacuum. So for that purpose, I need to start the pump. So it will start to create a vacuum. And at the same time, from the start, we can see the pressure will be decreasing. But now from the bottom side, we can see the power and timer here. We can change the intensity for the power as well as the timing. How much time we want to keep our sample inside the chamber. Now from the system we can see here the pressure is decreasing once it reaches to the 0.4 millibar then we can apply the plasma on the fruit sample. Now our sample inside the chamber 
pressure is reducing to less than 0.4 millibar and once it reaches 0.4 millibar we applied the plasma generator so it is applying the plasma now at the same time it uh, take the time how much period and intensity we are keeping and then the treatment is continuous for that particular period for this type of technology when we are creating the vacuum it's a very good for the product with the solid or semi solid when we have the high moisture content product or fresh product it may take more time to create a vacuum inside the chamber and it may make the process longer so vacuum type cold plasma unit may uh, good i recommend it for solid or semi solid product because it will reduce our timings now the treatment has been done now we can see here we used to see the different color inside the chamber now is turned off so now we need to open the chamber when the treatment done we change the color at the same time generator switch off directly now for this one we need to open the chamber we need to open the ventilation system again so make it allow us to take the sample out and when we using the ventilation system we see here pressure directly go up and allowing to remove uh, allowing to take the our sample out from the chamber now we can take the our sample out from the chamber for that purpose i need to switch on the ventilation system so in once i switch on the ventilation system we can see here the pressure will go up and it makes the system will open up now now the system is open up and now we can take our sample out just uh, treated sample treated for plasma sample we keep in this here and then we can transfer it to our storage condition or another processing now from the product we can see here after treating with the cold plasma there is a no changes on the color appearance and texture and it may like a feeling like a fresh like a product which may be the one uh, things so we always looking with the uh, fresh uh, fruits and vegetable for the pr fresh uh, produce industry that is the requirement from the consumer as well as processor there should be no harmful effect or appearance effect on the product quality